Oh, I don't like to remember these times. I follow like a, like a Instagram account with, and I think it looks so cool. <laughs> Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Yeah, doing awesome. Doing well. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm trying to see. Oh, okay. I guess we chatted in October, huh? Hello again. <laughs> yeah, October. How's your day? Not long time. Yes. Uh, doing well so far it has been good right so now it is 7 10 p.m here in india uh, so yeah like uh, uh, almost you know now i have finished my work so now it is fun time <laughs> fun time <laughs> yeah. Yeah, time time for you so how are you doing how have you been since then Oh, pretty good. It's getting, you know, a little colder, so meh. But it's okay. I'm in Spain. It's not very cold. And I traveled last weekend to a new city. It was beautiful, lovely break, lovely experience. I love going somewhere new. And today I'm just working from home, so it's pretty chill and uh, just doing some. What is temperature? I'm sorry? What is temperature there right now? Uh, let's see. I was out earlier and I felt good. Yesterday was really windy, but today is like 18 or 19. So 18 and 19 is, I don't think it is too cold, right? Uh, no. Right now, I will, I will have around 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah, same here in India. Let me check. I have Fahrenheit on my computer. Okay, it's 20 now. It's 20. Yeah. It's the oh, warmest point Celsius? of the day. Degree Celsius? Uh, well, in my brain, I use Fahrenheit, but in Europe, Celsius. <laughs> okay, so you you were talking about digging Fahrenheit? No, I was doing Celsius for you. I know that no one uses Fahrenheit, but Americans. Yeah. I know yeah. it. <laughs> I've been away from my country long enough to to understand this this uh, well stupid stuff the U.S. does, like call American football football when you don't use your feet and use Fahrenheit when everyone else is using Celsius. It's very stupid. Yeah. Feet, yeah. inches, instead of centimeters, meters, you know? Stupid. Yes. Why, do, why, no, so why don't guys, we all agree? Yeah. So you guys use uh, feet, inches uh, still? In India, like... Yeah, we use these inches, like I, if I talk about my grandfather, you know, like older generation, they are still measuring things in feet, but we guys do in centimeter, meter, more often really? than feet, yeah. But yeah, but I have little, I have knowledge about feet and inches as well, right? Because I have, they, they passed my grandfather, you know, the elder uh, passed on to me, but yeah, uh, we, prefer to measure things in centimeter and meter more often. Weird. It's weird that we like have these different systems, you know, things that you don't think of until you travel a bit. And then you're like, oh yeah, it's a really big world. And people are doing things differently out there. Weird. <laughs> yeah, weird. Yeah. So that's why, you know, traveling is very important. Yes. And, uh, you know, when you travel, you really know the world, how vast it is. Otherwise, just, you know, sitting in one corner of the world, you don't know anything. Just you think this city is your world, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want it to be so small. I can't handle that. I'm mm -hmm. glad to travel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you have been Where? traveling? I'm sorry? You have been traveling? Yeah. Well... I've been in Europe for about four years now, so mm -hmm. I haven't been back to the U.S. in a while for one visit in 2020, but it's been a while. And yeah, because now it's almost 2024. I think before Corona or after Corona? I think right after. after. Corona. I, went home, I went home for the new year, 2020 into 2021. So technically it was 2021. 2021. Yeah. Yeah. It was right well, after all the madness, or kind of during it, we can say. It was still kind of during things, but you could travel again. You could go somewhere with, like, a test. Oh, I don't like to remember these times. 
Do you? So now Are once you again, the, the, yeah. So once again, uh, New Year and Christmas is around the corner. So what is your plan? Like, where are you gonna celebrate? Celebrate it? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. I was thinking to visit my friends in Poland. I love Polish Christmas. I love the food and the people. It's such a nice feeling. I wouldn't want to go home. It's, nah. When I think of going home, I think Christmas is for children. I don't really enjoy it. But mm -hmm. eh, maybe Poland, maybe here on the beach. I don't know. I can't decide. Okay, great. I can understand. Yeah. So, yeah. Do you like to make plans? No. I just uh, love to go without plan. I, I, I love to venture out. Like, you know, if when you have plan in your mind, things doesn't turn out to be like according to plan, then you feel kind of, you know, not good. So yeah. when you don't have plan, whatever is falling in your way is good. That's what I love, right? So uh, whenever I travel without plan, right? I don't have much plan. I just decide just a few days ago or maybe sometimes a few hours ago. But definitely I would have two, three, uh, four destinations in my mind. And, you know, just within an hour, I will select this one. Okay, I have to travel. Yeah, so right now, I have, uh, recently, I have been to uh, Kathmandu, Nepal, right? Capital city of Nepal. I've traveled recently. So kind of last moment, I decided to, you know, I'm going to Kathmandu. Otherwise, I had few plans in my mind. I, I wanted to travel other parts of India. But like last moment, I thought, no, let me visit Kathmandu. Yeah, it was a beautiful journey lovely city cool. that's awesome i don't know geographically so i will ask a question which might sound stupid but can you see mm -hmm. mount everest from Kathmandu? no i couldn't see but yeah it's next time far. like next time not yeah it is far it is far from Kathmandu. but uh, uh i have planned like i i would like to visit uh, Himalaya, like that is Mount Everest. Yeah, we say Himalaya in Hindi. Yeah, right? the Himalayas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess you also just, know the Himalayas. Yeah, I would just say that that's the mountain range, but like the actual mountain is Mount Everest. But the range Everest. is Himalaya. The highest yeah. one. Highest, yeah, yeah, Himalaya. So, yeah, it's a beautiful country, like, you know, uh, I have been to mm, rural areas as well. So I found it beautiful, fascinating. Uh, I have planned, like, uh, because it is not far from my home, my home city. It is just beside me. Uh, I have to just cross the border, and once I will get in Nepal, yeah, it is just, you know, four, five hundred kilometer distance. Uh, so, like, uh, uh, I have planned to visit each and every part of Nepal because it is a, a place which is very near to me. And whenever I have time for two, three days, even two, for two or three days, I could visit this place, yeah. Apart from Indian states, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, but but next year I have planned to visit other countries. Like I don't know, I have not decided yet. But out of India, uh, Nepal is kind of similar in culture, right? India Nepali culture is very close to Indian culture. Just a few things are different. Everything is same. Okay. But I want to now travel internationally. You want to give yourself a bit of culture shock. Yeah, a bit of culture shock. I mean, it's good for you. I would love to. I think I was talking with a friend about visiting India because she is a homeopath and there is someone she really loves, a speaker that she loves that has a, um, I can't remember his name now, but he has like a clinic in, and I can't remember the city either. You know, India's huge. I can't remember what part she mentioned, but at the time I knew at the time she told me and she said, I really want to go Chrissy. I really want to go, but I'm scared. You know, she said, I'm, it's a scary, I've never been to India. What if I, you know, I don't know what to expect. And I said, yeah, I think you will have a culture shock, but it will probably be a good one. You know, if, if it's, if it's a place you really, if you're really open-minded, I think, a culture shock is a wonderful shock for the system. It can be uncomfortable, but 
you need to be uncomfortable and, like, and yeah like when you are traveling uh, the world you need to be uncomfortable you need to be you know like open minded because you don't know there there are different parts of the world people are living with different kind of culture tradition and for them it is beautiful right so anyway if you are uh, exploring then just enjoy whichever comes in your way is just you know enjoy it so yeah i can yeah. understand but i i don't feel you know it is difficult to travel in india because the main thing that could be barrier is that transport or language and everything is fine in india like you know you can everybody knows how to speak in english like they know a little bit english like they can you can easily communicate with people all around india other thing is that you know uh, roads are everything is well connected so i don't feel like you know you will have problem and most uh, importantly you have to be very open minded when when you are traveling to other countries because every country has different culture and that is something that makes the country unique right yeah absolutely mm-hmm. yeah and i think if we are scared to do something i think it means that we should do it mm-hmm. yeah you know what i mean If you're a little scared or ooh, nervous, then do it because those are the things that you get the most reward from after doing. Yeah. It 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 is going to make you strong. It is going to like give you lots of confidence within you that you know now you can do something other like that you were afraid of. Right? So it happens like I remember when I traveled first time, you know, I was kind of scared. right i was going to the new place nobody knew me i had to take all everything on my own but once i did it i got more courage to do some other journey and that's the way like you know i started exploring all around india or nepal right now next time i'm going to travel internationally it it doesn't look like you know i can do it now it looks like wherever i want to go i want to travel i could do it's just you know i want it or not yeah yeah Yeah. Definitely. So where do you want to go first? Like where what's in your in your dreams or in your mind? No, I don't have dream to be honest like I'm kind of a spontaneous person like right? whatever I want I do. Good. But but I think you know maybe somewhere near Asia like Indonesia uh I mean and maybe Bank Thailand you know Bangkok Bali these are few places that I would like to travel first. Uh, because it is very close to uh, our state india like i could fly easily so yeah. yeah after that i will think about other part of the world so i have planned like you know i want to travel few of the nearby uh, uh countries and after that i will i would love to explore other parts of the world cool i'd like to go to thailand too and bali is supposed to be super fun lots yeah. of good vegan food Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I follow like a like a Instagram account with like vegan food travel in Bali and I think it looks so cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you open to trying new foods? Yeah, sometimes I do, but I'm not <laughs> kind of big fan of food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am the sometimes. same sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. like i i'm very much interested in culture kind of the architecture of the buildings and things mm-hmm. you know how people live their life yeah. the things yeah but sometimes yes i food i try food but it's not you know i have seen some travelers like they definitely would try food first to okay? be so sure that's not like i have not that a strong taste of foodie type of taste right yeah okay i get it uh is there cheese in india cheese yeah cheese it's popular you're talking about paneer yeah very popular like it is one of the favorite dishes of indian cheese and they call okay. it paneer and different kinds of paneer cheese they make okay because i know cows are yeah. and and we run out of time <laughs>